there's the target I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time I'm going to aim at the bullseye and I'll really be amazed if it even hits the paper but uh, I'll slowly work my way up until till I get it so 100 yard shot 25 caliber pellet gun shoot 900 feet per second with a 25 grain pellet Okay, here we have the 100 yard target. You'll see that the uh, shot doesn't even hit the board with the crosshairs on the dot. Any second now. There we go. So, that means we're going to have to aim up. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken the, uh, the lowest dot on my scope and put it right on that uh, orange dot and you can still see that I'm hitting a little bit low and to the left. Now we did have a little bit of a crosswind if you look at the shadows on the leaves blowing around there you can tell we had a little wind but uh, not that much so well as predicted aiming at the bullseye the, the bullet didn't even hit the target or the pellet didn't even hit the target this was my last uh, visible reticle, and also as predicted, they went to the left because of the wind, and there's not much wind blowing. So I'm thinking 100 yards is going to be a little long, but we'll go shoot another four or five shot group and see what happens. Okay, if you'll kind of watch what goes on here, watch the shadow of the leaves in the background. That shot there wasn't too awful bad, but it's still a couple inches off. That one's getting blown off to the left. And in my opinion, the 100 yard accuracy of the gun is uh, not quite up to specs for a accurately placed shot in the ear of a pig or the eye of a coyote or something like that especially with a wind ball. But it is what it is, and we can't uh, fudge the test. This is what the gun does. So maybe after it gets a few thousand pellets through it, it'll... The whole point in using the air rifle time. is just to practice uh, for the big game rifle. And the beauty of it is, uh, is any time you shoot a rifle, you have a tendency to want to flinch because it's going to kick. That's just natural. Everybody does it to some degree. And you've got to train yourself not to do that. You want those crosshairs right in the same place they were when you pulled the trigger. Uh, you don't want to pull them off to one side in the pulling trigger. And when you flinch, you automatically do that. So with the air rifle, you can actually keep them right there and follow through on the shot and see if you're jerking or moving or flinching any. And that's good training because then when you use the big rifle, you'll be used to the no recoil of this precharged uh, air gun and maybe you won't do that. Um, that's a big part of it. And this little air rifle has a, a very good uh, barrel on it so it's very accurate as we've seen to 50 yards anyway and the trigger is a two-stage trigger which uh, is a little bit different than my hunting rifle but uh, still very very nice trigger. So, um, we're going to conclude today's test uh, and call it good at 50 yards. And next time we'll talk a little bit about what you can do with a rifle. Uh, we've seen what uh, the rifle will do. Shooting off a, uh, a bench with a, a machine rest is uh, no challenge really except for the bench rest guys who measure their bullets, uh, their groups in hundreds of inches. But for a hunting gun, uh, we're not going to do that because you don't have a bench out in the field and you don't have a rest sometimes. So we'll look at uh, how all those things come into play and what we can. We see what the gun can do. Now we're going to look at what we can do. Okay.